Pilati and Margaret, and we've been living in vehicles all over the world since 2016. But in 2020, the pandemic halted our nomadic travels, mysterious new virus, and locked us down here in a small village of Czech Republic, where we started our e-bike business, renovated an abandoned junkyard building into our dream workshop, converted a lumber mill into our van build barn, and took on building three tiny home projects, our ultimate camper van, a container home, and a cabin in the woods. Oh yeah, and we got married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. We're in the final stages of these three build projects, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and catch the grand finale of each, plus some shenanigans along the way. Everybody ready? Second round I'm cleaning because yesterday <laughs> that was definitely a little bit more. I was worried it can freeze and then it will be difficult to get to the car. This is a beautiful, wow. Air like snow. Start loading, prepping for heavy work week. Hopefully we won't get stuck in the morning. Switch here. I have the I store the remote here. Bad lift. Love it. The shower mount adjustable and different functions of the shower itself. Uh, hot water in here too. Actuators is pretty clean. I always like from the beginning this industrial-ish design where all the components are exposed. So like with water it's cool because you see leaks and it's easy to access and easy to fix everything and this is just a pure visual technical art <laughs> so about these filters somebody asked in the comments i notice so um, this is now completed system when we have fresh water from the tank taking through uh, 20 micron 10 micron um, charcoal filter and this is one micron and then it keeps going to the UV light that should kill pretty much all organic life. And we turn it on and off and we have a tap water clean. I would be probably pretty comfortable to drink from most of the sources. You can see how this slides, just here. Friggin' massive. <laughs> Big fridge means less grocery shopping for me. Ay, ay, ay. We sorted out a system for mounting the monitor and now we can finally cover this whole ugly part. So we really didn't like the rounded space killers. <laughs> So we went with opposite, I used the bendy plywood and now I'm about to cover this on an angle and create a little lip for backpacks and things stored here. Some of these techniques and challenges sometimes, huh, these little supports will hopefully help me out with holding these two panels straight. <laughs> now the switch, don't forget that. <laughs> Try heating it up too, softening it a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Although it's very scary to make predictions, we're really, really hoping to have the van done by spring and we wanna have all of these projects completely finished so that when the van is done, we can just hit the road, not have anything incomplete or lingering on the back of our heads and really be able to enjoy traveling, our honeymoon, all of that, we're really excited. I like this panel a lot. Oh, oh, nice, oh. that looks great there. Look, I also found a back cover that was inside. <laughs> so I can just trim it, send all of this off <laughs> and cover it from behind. This display was originally here on the heater. We extended the display there. Now we have a, we see the inside temperature. We can change the modes and we added the RPM of those fans. So we can really lower them and keep it nice and quiet while heating up with 2.3 kilowatts. And super cool feature is it has a remote control. And also I have this smart light app. I have the car, car battery charger. I can turn it on or off but I keep it on because it's just super cool to always have it maintained. Then I have a lithium charger, so I have it off because it's a loud 2.3 kilowatt charger. So on demand through Bluetooth. And then we have this electric heater, whole car in this one app, and I can go to level, set up 2.3 kilowatts, set up temperature. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> well, I can turn it off from the bed or anywhere <laughs> kitten Pavel just wired this awesome led light or is wiring i should say live that goes straight down to where we sit it is a very interesting story how pavel actually came into our lives it's interesting that he saw the first van tour maybe video we did it with the first van and he reached out uh, whether I could give him some advices on van building because he was just about to build his. I'm a busy guy, so I was like, hey, this is the uh, Facebook group where you can find a lot of information. And if you want a job because I'm just about to build a new van, you can come and, and uh, learn on my project. Coincidence, he's from the same town. He started coming, slowly learned how to build batteries, how to build bikes. And now he completely took over the bike building business while helping us on every project we do cabin projects renovation of the workshop uh, van uh, everything I have spent the last day and a half painting. I got so irritated with that yellowish white. It was such a mistake to even use it because to cover it completely has taken multiple coats. Some of the sides of this blue container or now the gray container are still kind of exposed. Our plan is because this is a metal exterior, we're thinking about putting like wooden boards up against here, something like a melamine, maybe even with some cape flex between the two. Not only will that add like a nice wooden texture, but it will also be an extra layer of insulation because you can feel in here that this room is a little bit colder than the next, just because it has that metal exterior. Hope we will mess this one up. I know it, this, uh, this is difficult to hear, especially for you guys who are patiently waiting for this van build to be over, but this is a side project for us. This is a, this is a big passion and hobby of ours. 
Uh, and we're not professional van builders. We do this kind of in a spare time-ish, but then we always have a bigger fish to fry. Like the workshop renovation was really important. Having place to stay at is really important. Ideally, ideally we would like to have it done in a quality we want immediately, but these details take time. He told that he had that space and now she came back to lie down there. Wow, that always feels like something new. Hey, we have trams in the city. We have trams in slang locally. They are called greasy pole. <laughs> One thing down. <laughs> One thing down. That's one. Nessa. Yeah, that, there's no way that's gonna fit. Bang, just double sided tape. And we have a protective foil as well. <laughs> That's a diesel heater display. Come to take a look. How does that feel? Oh, it feels really good. The effort, right? It feels, it's stretched forever. It feels like forever ago, but every single section is just like... But finally we're, we're getting something that we can uh, use. 3D printed handle, still needed. Laptop is tucked in, sits in both USB Type C's. One for external dog here for USB Type C, USBs, uh, SD cards when content creating, and the other USB Type C. Oh, that fits nicely. Is all the way to the monitor, and the monitor also charges the laptop through the same wire. So okay, let's see the monitor joint. We have a handle there, loosen it up, cables definitely need some management still, probably zip ties or something permanent, and then position whatever I need. This is awesome for internet browsing, watching videos, uh, I could definitely take PS5, <laughs> <laughs> this is for research about the place where we are, this is for our video editing, for me as a photographer, it's awesome for photos. It feels good being here. <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> that, that feels good in here. I feel like we need to do a quick 360. We got the LED. And then we have this switch here for that overhead unit. Backpacks, everything else that you want speakers everything labeled so we have like the light dimmers here Ooh, baby baby i love it love the cab light keep it up now wow this is much warmer light because that's for evenings when we sit down when we actually need this is a functional light mm -hmm. versus this is cold um that's what's important yeah because we hate a blue light too late right. the whole kitchen is a project look at it These are the fans, so in and out, that's how we will be using them. 
at night, just super low RPM. Really subtle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then these are super cool. I love this. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. This will be filled with all the rice, all the oats. Everything, pasta. cereals, mm -hmm. muesli, nuts. Get your wine, you have your espresso shots for the coffee maker, regular drinking glasses, oils, peanut butter, everything you could need. It's so cool. It's so like, it. everything has a place. I'm just really happy that mm -hmm. we had some forethought in, in designing this. What a bit of a forethought. <laughs> Over the top the forethought, but it worked out. I like this light more than I thought we would. It kind of like illuminates the uh -huh. space. Mm -hmm. It's just right on the fan. Really nice in the evenings too. Magnet. Magnet. Super dark. Sleep throughout the day. And Lottie's body pillow. I didn't realize the light was already turning on and stuff. The fridge is cold. It re That's nuts. It's just been cooling down. I haven't even heard it, it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. We run a small business from the workshop that helps us finance some of the expenses. So this is our website, mysuperebike.com. These are three different e-bike models. The smallest is the DIY project, so we supply some parts, we sell video guides, how to build each one of them. We recently also started selling parts. If you're getting an uh, e-bike from us or buy any parts or just this apron, uh, that's how directly uh, supports this channel and everything you see in the videos we build. So I actually haven't even registered our marriage here in Czech yet. Um, but as far as being able to stay in Europe, I really don't understand it as well as I should. I just know that for now I'm following the rules. I have a Czech passport. Um, so it's like a second passport of this. It says valid till 2030, which I think would be a good thing. But on this where I have the visa stamp itself, it doesn't even have like the expiration date really listed. It just says to follow this so i don't know if i have 10 years or not i also have what checks call like a birth number which is cool they give you like a little certificate or normally people have a card so hopefully they don't kick me out anytime soon but it's always a risk <laughs> Hello. I'm slowly moving in. And you guys were right. Some of you suggested I should start using Fusion 360. I know it took me a long time to transition because it's always something to do. Look at that. The dimmer. <laughs> I'm about to do a splash bag behind this monitor this weekend. <laughs> I tried this new model uh, 3D printed stand. That's cool. Works both orientations. Uh, yeah, I love how this room slowly fills in. Kitten, why did you figure it out better than me in life? This has been an awesome week when we finally had a bit of a quiet time at the workshop. Being only me, Margaret and Pavel in there. 
finally having time for the van to do some progress while we wait for electrician to move with the container. Not too much of a progress on our cabin. The van kind of swallowed up most of the time. But, Which is a good thing. <laughs> but only these little bits and pieces we always take care of at the cabin. At least did a backsplash here. We have a really big delivery coming up this week. So keep your eye out for that in the next video. It's a big game changer for not only us personally, but for the channel as a whole and our future. And we're really stoked about it. But uh, tonight is the Czech elections, uh, which is Presidential really elections. Deal. So we have a bunch of family coming in and friends and kids and everything else. It will be big celebration or big disappointment. Either way. <laughs> and uh, if we missed any questions throughout the video, uh, leave them below so we can answer Let them. us know in the comments what guesses you have uh, that is arriving. Take care, uh, have a good week, and see you next Sunday. See you in the next one. Cheers to you. Ha, 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 ha.